Hi friends. So a couple of years ago, I was traveling back home from the San Jose airport. When I was getting in line in security to go through the whole TSA thing, this man came running up to me with like an iPad and he was like, hello, how are you doing miss? And I immediately was like, I am in the wrong place. Like this, this guy is way too nice to me. No one at TSA is that nice. I am in some sort of line that I shouldn't be in and I need to leave. Then I heard, welcome to clear. And I realized that I was definitely in the wrong line. This man started explaining to me what clear was. And when I asked like, is this TSA pre-check? Did they rename it? He was like, no, it's different. It really made me wonder, how is clear different than TSA pre-check? What exactly does TSA PreCheck have that Clear doesn't? And how is global entry thrown into this? Is it the same thing? Is it different? What, like, do I need any of them? Don't worry, we're gonna go through all of that in this video. Welcome back to Road Just Traveled, where budget travel doesn't have to suck. I'm Jesse, and I post new videos every Sunday, so feel free to subscribe or hit the bell icon so you don't miss anything. Before I go into the merits and setbacks of these services, I'm gonna give you a general overview of what they are. In short, you're basically trading some information of yours, like your fingerprints, your passport information, and a picture of you for special privileges to bypass lines, providing you a a more convenient travel experience that takes less time. I'm stressing about the personal information thing because if you want an easier travel experience, it doesn't come without a cost. As we launch into this world of GDPR and data protection, that you should understand that you are trading your fingerprints and a picture of you and your passport information for these privileges. As long as you're okay with that, it's fine. I'm personally okay with it, but I wanna make it very clear so that you don't go into something without really understanding what you're doing. What's interesting about these memberships is they're not 100% competing with each other. You could conceivably have all three of them and use them for different things. It's not really necessary in my opinion, but if you're determined to save every ounce of time that you have and you've got the cash to throw, then you could. First, we'll go over TSA PreCheck, which I think is the most well-known one, for Americans at least. TSA PreCheck is a US government program that is designed to make your experience going through TSA security lines much simpler, easier, and quicker. It is a separate security line than the normal security checks. And I say line, but most of the time that I've gone, there hasn't even been a line. <laughs> You just walk right up to the belts and it's amazing. Their website says that 93% of the time, pre-check passengers have waited less than five minutes to get through security. Amazing. My favorite part about TSA PreCheck is that you don't have to take your shoes off and you don't have to take all your stuff out of your bag. I don't know about you, but I have found the most stressful thing about airports for me is going through security because you're in line and you're waiting and then you get up to the front and you feel like the time is like ticking because there's people behind you staring at you waiting for you to go. And then you like take off your shoes and you take all your stuff out of your bag and you put it back in. And then like once you go through, there's people behind you waiting to like grab their stuff. So you have to like grab all your stuff. And like what I do is I just grab it all and like take it somewhere else. And then I'm like walking barefoot or in my socks and then I have to like put it on <laughs> like it's just like then I'm like sweaty trying to fit my laptop back in my backpack and trying to get my shoes on and I don't need to go into this anymore you can see that it stresses me out also because you're not spending as much time waiting in line for security you could conceivably get to the airport later than you were planning on and still make your flight on time I still get to the airport with plenty of time but when I am running late it's a really nice added piece of comfort is that a phrase to know that I am okay and I will get through security quickly and probably make my flight. Am I still anxious? Probably, but a little less anxious than I would have been. I don't know. To get pre-check, you can apply for it online and then you have to book a quick interview at either the airport or another area where they do these interviews. And it's usually about a 10 to 15 minute interview where they take your fingerprints and they do a background check on you and they ask you questions like, I don't know, have you committed a felony or something? <laughs> I don't quite remember the questions they ask, but it's stuff like that. And then in about two or three weeks, you'll receive your known traveler number, which is abbreviated as KTN. When you're booking your flight, it'll ask you for this number and you can put it in and then your ticket will say pre-check across the top and you're good. I don't know if you've ever been in a situation where you get your ticket and you found out that you have TSA pre-check even though you didn't pay for it. It's like a surprise for that one flight. 
I do wanna make it clear that once you actually get TSA pre-check, it doesn't work like that. You have to actually put your known traveler number into this box when you're booking your flight. Otherwise, they don't know that you're a TSA pre-check person and they'll just make you go through regular security. So the price of TSA pre-check is $85 for a five-year membership, which comes out to $17 a year. Not too bad. Now, if you're a credit card holder, there are a lot of credit cards out there that will cover the cost of the membership or at least a portion of it. So I will put a link in the description of a list of credit cards that work with the TSA. So maybe you don't have to pay for TSA PreCheck at all. Clear is a newer company that is not affiliated directly with the US government and they're available in over 60 locations according to their website. Now, not all of those are airports, which I'll get to in a little bit. Clear shows up as a separate line from TSA and TSA PreCheck, but they don't have their own security. When you sign up with Clear, they scan your eyes as well as take your fingerprints so you don't have to pull out your passport or your ID when going through security. When I was going through a demo of this, after they scanned my eyes, which is like, and you feel like a spy, <laughs> They took me to the front of the security line, the TSA line that everyone's in. I had to go through that whole thing, except for I was just sent to the front of it, which is really weird when everyone's kind of staring at you and you're just like, hi, I'm, I'm a douchebag. Douche if you have TSA pre-check, then they'll just take you to the front of the pre-check line. Now, unlike pre-check and global entry, which we'll talk about in a little bit, Clear does not have its own security line. The reason for this is because I think the US government would not let that fly because they wanna have their hands on who is going through security, which is totally fair. The one thing that's kinda cool is that you don't have to even take your ID out because they scan your fingers and your eyes. So if you are traveling and you forget your ID and your airport has a clear kiosk in it, then you know that you can get home safe and deal with it all there. That's a very extreme situation though. Also, Clear's website boasts that they can get you through the security line within five or 10 minutes. I know I just said that TSA PreCheck says about the same thing. However, Clear is newer and less people are members of Clear than they are members of TSA PreCheck. So if you're traveling at Christmas or you know at a really busy time where everybody is in line at TSA PreCheck because they're all smart enough to have PreCheck, you might have better luck in the Clear line. In addition to being newer than PreCheck, Clear is also significantly more expensive. So there's gonna be a filter of people out there where it's just, you're gonna always pretty much have fewer people in the clear line than in the TSA pre-check line. I mentioned before that clear is not just in airports. Clear is also building out their services in highly trafficked areas like sports arenas and concert venues. For example, Madison Square Garden, Yankee Stadium, and the Staples Center all have clear. This is great if you go to a lot of concerts and big venues or if you have like season passes to sports games. You could tell I'm not really into sports. Clear costs $179 a year which is a significant hike in the prices of TSA PreCheck, which come out to $17 a year. Clear does have some partnerships with Delta and United Airlines. So if you are a member of their loyalty programs, you can potentially get free or heavily discounted memberships with Clear. I will also say that signing up for Clear is significantly easier than signing up for TSA PreCheck. You can basically walk up to a Clear kiosk they just scan your stuff and you punch in your information and within five minutes, you're signed up. Global entry and TSA pre-check are kind of a whole other process that takes at least a few weeks to go through. When people hear global entry next to TSA pre-check, they tend to think that global entry is just TSA PreCheck's fast security, but all over the world. I wish it was, I would join that in three seconds but sadly, that doesn't exist. Global entry basically simplifies the immigration and customs process when you're returning back to the US. If you travel internationally a lot and you come home and all you wanna do is just crawl into bed and you get to the customs department and you just see this line that just snakes all over and you feel like you're gonna be standing in line for three hours, cause you might actually be, then you might be interested in global entry. Similar to TSA PreCheck, Global Entry has its own wait line that more often than not, you can just walk up and there's very little, if any, wait. Generally, this is a service just in the US, but there are actually 16 airports that are not in the US that have Global Entry. A few of these include Dublin, Winnipeg, Abu Dhabi, Guam, and Aruba. Unless you're going to these places, if you do a lot of international travel, my guess is you'll pretty much only be using it 
when you return to the States. The cool thing about global entry is that it actually includes TSA pre-check and it's only $15 more. So if you wanna just fork up that extra $15, which comes out to $3 per year, because remember it's a five year membership, then that's totally worth having global entry for your return. If your memory and math isn't your strong suit, it's okay, it's not mine either. It's $100. Now, what is the trade-off of using these services? What are the implications of giving your personal information to either the government or a private company? Now, I used to work in tech where there was a common debate of how much information of mine is my own and how much of it should third parties have. I know it's not of malicious intent, but there's something really unsettling about someone scanning your irises and storing them in some sort of data silo. I know I did it in the moment when I was walking through a clear and they offered me a free trial, but I wish that I had thought a little bit more about it. And I'm saying this because I don't think people really think about it because they're promised with not having to wait through TSA lines. And you think, sure, take everything, take my firstborn. And I'm not trying to rip into clear because when you sign up for global entry or TSA pre-check, you have to give your fingerprints. Something about a private company storing my eyes in their system. It makes me a little uncomfortable and I'm sure that one day we will look back where everything is scanning your eyes because we are all like so futuristic and to like get into work, you it scans your eyes really quick or something and I'll look back and be like, ha, silly that you were so worried about clear. But right now it's not the norm. I actually reached out to Clear about this, telling them that I was making this video and gave them the opportunity to put out a statement or even I said, you can film something and I will post it. I mean, I really was like, whatever you do, I will post it. And I just kind of got like a generic email back that was like, check out our privacy policy, which is like a little disappointing, honestly, but like, I don't know, I guess I'm not that important, so. But I tried, I tried to give them a voice to stand up for themselves about scanning our irises and um, let that be known that I tried. And the bottom line, whether it's TSA pre-check, clear or global entry, you are exchanging your private information as well as a little bit of money for a simpler, faster, easier check-in. Is it worth it? That is totally up to you. Personally, I have TSA pre-check I don't have global entry only because I didn't really understand what it was when I was signing up for TSA PreCheck. Had I really understood it and knew that PreCheck came with it, I would have just gotten global entry so that I'd also have TSA PreCheck for $15 more. Clear, I it's really expensive and I don't think it's significantly better than TSA PreCheck, so I am doing a pass on Clear, even though my irises are in their system, so hopefully they're not doing anything weird with them. I don't know what weird stuff you'd do with irises. I hope this was helpful to you in determining which of these is best for you, if any. Feel free to leave some feedback in the comments. I'd love to hear if you are a member of any of these or if you are planning to become a member of any of these and which ones. I will see you guys next week with a video that's all about how to get free accommodation when you travel. What? So if you want somewhere to stay for free, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss it. Happy travels.